Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Just a quick video to highlight two new changes and features that could be making their way to the Microsoft Edge web browser in the future. And these two new changes and features are currently being tested in Edge Canary, which as many of you know, is a preview version of the browser. Now, the first um, new change is in regards to the quick action sidebar, which I have been posting on over the last few weeks. And just to do a quick recap, the sidebar now gives you quick actions that open up in a site panel. And those quick actions are search, discover, which is basically a newsfeed, tools, games, Microsoft Office, Outlook, drop, which is a new quick action. And that uh, uses and incorporates OneDrive and then Ecotree. And I have posted previous videos on these changes and the uh, sidebar so if you've missed those I'll leave links down below just to keep you up to speed if you are interested. Now the first uh, change uh, in, is in regards to the uh, tools quick action which are spotted in my overnight update to Edge Canary and we get three new tools added to the site panel namely a world clock dictionary and translator. The original tools were a calculator, a unit converter, and an internet speed test, which I have tried out as uh, previously mentioned, and it is quite accurate. And the three new tools are a world clock. That's the local time. You can add a clock, a dictionary, and I'm actually going to try this out. I'm going to enter test and I'm going to click on define. And that opens up the definition to that word in the site panel, which I think could be quite handy. And then a translator which lets you translate different languages. So I think we can expect um, Microsoft to roll out some more tools in the future, in, um, including now those new tools, World Clock, Dictionary and Translator. Now the second change and new feature that Microsoft has started to test recently uh, in Edge Canary is a new Quick Commands feature. And this is not a default feature. Um, like most features in Edge Canary, it's hidden behind an experimental flag. And if you'd like to try out the new quick commands, um, just head to the um, address bar as always, enter edge colon forward slash forward slash flags. And in the search, uh, enter this flag, I'm pasting it in, edge DevTools toaster. And the description for the flag says, Enable DevTools command bar to quickly access DevTools commands invoked with, and you can use Control Shift and Space as a keyboard shortcut combination. Change the default setting to enabled and restart Edge Canary to apply that flag. And now if we just head back to the new tab page, I'm going to use that keyboard shortcut combination, Control Shift Space, and there we go. There's our quick commands bar. And it says enter a keyword like tabs or windows to find an action. I'm going to enter tabs. And it just highlights different features you can access in the browser. So that could be quite useful. And another way to access the quick commands bar is by heading up to the menu in the top right. More settings and quick commands. And there's the new quick commands bar, which is now available for testing in Edge Canary. So as mentioned, these features uh, could possibly make their way uh, to the stable version of Microsoft Edge in the future and those new changes regarding tools and the and that's namely the quick commands bar as well. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.